We continue to highlight hidden history here in Eastern North Carolina, and throughout the month, we'll celebrate Black History Month with untold stories from around the area. WNCT Zora Stevenson joins us now with a piece of history from Pitt County Schools. Zora. This file cabinet full of paper and old documents, like any normal file cabinet, almost got thrown away. Well, that's until someone noticed what was inside. Old file cabinets, years of rust, cobwebs and all, tucked away in a warehouse and inside, years of history. These documents dated from about 1910 all the way to the 1970s. So you had white, the budget, and then you have colored schools. This man is tasked with going through it all. After hours of filing, longtime history teacher Stephen Hill finds decades of records. Greenville, North Carolina, December 18th, 1924 to the teachers of Pitt County. Records of how Pitt County schools operated during segregation. You may use an hour or two before the school day is over to acquaint the children with past conditions. This letter offers you a taste of the times. Touch lightly the horrors of slavery. Signed, G.R. Whitfield, Supervisor, Colored Schools. How you take what it says, well, that's up to you. It, your judgments could range from, you know, he was afraid to do otherwise, or maybe he was trying to be a, a unifier, or maybe he was just trying to survive in the atmosphere and environment that he was in. What was the most surprising thing to you as somebody who studies this stuff? Well, uh, I was really kind of fascinated to find out that you know, Pitt County schools didn't really begin desegregation until 1970. And when I share that with students, they're, they're kind of surprised. Hill wants to preserve what he's found, put it on display, and eventually incorporate it into lesson plans. You can't understand any other culture unless you understand your culture first. So I believe this insight that documents afford will uh, give them that. All of those cabinets were in a Pitt County warehouse where they were trying to clean everything out. Phil Ward, a longtime county employee, found the documents, and that's when administrators asked Stephen Hill to go through them. Zora Stevenson, not on your side.